Yeah. Welcome learners. Today we'll look at the topic of organic chemistry one. Subtopic is naming of branch alkanes. Start first of all by looking at what is a branch alkane. A branch alkane is obtained when substituent groups are attached to the carbon atoms along the longest continuous carbon chain. The substituent group can either be alkyl group or halogen group. The alkyl group, the formula is Cn H2n plus 1. You can give an example like methyl, which is CH3, or ethyl C2H5. The halogen group includes chlorine atom, which is named as chloro, bromine atom, which is named as bromo, iodine atom, which is named as iodo, fluorine atom, which is named as fluoro. Now, to be able to, to name a branch alkane, there are rules or guidelines to follow. Number one, identify the longest continuous carbon chain that gives you the parent name. Number two, I number the carbon atom from the end near the branching. That gives you, that enables you to get the lowest number of the branches. Number three, locate position of the branches. Now, in number three, we have A, between a numeral and an M, you separate using an Ivan. Between two numbers, you separate using a comma. For more than one similar branch, use DI for two, use TRI for three, use TRETRA for four. Now, for more than one different branch, name them alphabetically. For example, in example number one here, we are told the first guideline number one was to identify the longest continuous carbon chain. So in our case here, the longest has how many carbon atoms? One, two, three, four, five. So five, the prefix was pent. Now because we have single bonds, then the suffix becomes N. So the parent name here becomes penden. Parent name becomes penden. That is the parent name, penden. Now, to locate position of branches, we have been told to number the carbon atoms from the end near the branching. So where do I be numbering in this case here? If I begin on the left hand side, the branch is carbon number one, two. If I begin on the right hand side, one, two, three. So it means my numbering will have to begin from the left hand side. One, two, three, four, five. So this bromine atom is a branch attached to the second carbon atom. Then we have a bromine atom attached to the third carbon atom. So now we have the branches. We have two branches. We have two bromo and we have three bromo. As we mentioned earlier, for two similar branches, they are named as di. So in our case here, we'll name this compound as 2, comma, 3, hyphen, Di bromo. Then we have the parent name penden. Now, in example number two, whatever you have in a bracket is called a branch. So this CL is chloral branch. This is a methyl, and this one is a methyl. So methyl, if methyl is attached to the end, does not become a branch. It's part of the chain. Now, for us to name this compound, we have been told step number one is to identify the longest continuous carbon chain. So we identify as one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, because we have six carbon atoms, the parent name becomes exen. Now, then number two, we look at numbering of the carbon atom from the end near the branching. Now, if I begin on the left-hand side, it is one, two. This branch is carbon number two. If I begin on the right-hand side, it's one, two, three. So from the right-hand side, the first branch is carbon number three, and the left-hand side, the branch is second carbon atom. So it means I start numbering here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now we have three branches here. We have a chloro attached to carbon number two. We have methyl attached to carbon number three. Then you have methyl attached to carbon number four. So now, 
we name this compound as the parent name being exen, we have two methyl branches, so we'll have di. Then we have a chloro and a methyl, we are supposed to name them al alphabetically. So this compound will be named starting from chloro. So I'll say 2 iven chloro iven 3 comma 4 iven dimethyl exen. So those, that is how to name branch alkenes.